Hey, how you doing? I am live. And for some reason, hi, hi, hi. I gotta get this thing back to where it is in my network. How y'all doing? This is Krista the Hope Hacker. Let me get positioned because I'm trying to get my Facebook live together, so bear with me. Bear with me. How y'all doing? I haven't been out on Periscope in a minute. This is Crystal Bodie Smith, the whole hacker. And it's been a minute. Bear with me while I get my stuff together. Uh, just a second. I'm trying to get this one right. Let me see. Oh, man. What did I do? Back up. Oh, Jesus. Get, get, can I get oh, back out of that and go back to my page? One moment, I'm trying to get my Facebook together. Hope you're doing well in 2017. My question today is, what are you in position for? What are you in position for? I'm trying to get my live to start on my other page, and then we'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead to a different location because it didn't work where I was trying to go. All right, what are you in position for? I did a few things on my... I did a few things on my Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Uh, you got to play catch up because I'm ahead of the game with my people on Periscope. All right. You got to cut the TV off because it's in a film. So my question today is what are you positioned for? You know what I do. I give you words of encouragement both here on Periscope and here on Facebook to allow people to just do what they need to do to stay focused and get ahead in life. I'm the whole packer. I'm like your conscious. I am your friendly reminder to just remind you of things you need to do. So as the year started off Periscope, one of the things I told my people in my group, I have a group in on Facebook, it's called Keep Hope Alive. One of the things I told them was, as 2016 was going out, figure out what you want to keep and what you want to toss. Figure out what went well and what went bad. Okay? Then we talked about things like um, how the mind works and the fact that you have to write things down. How you doing, Rochelle? Share this. We talked about that. So we're leading up to here. So if you go to my Keep Hope Alive page, Periscope, on Facebook, it's Keep Hope Alive all together and the word movement. So Keep Hope Alive movement. You'll be able to find out exactly and you'll get caught up. All right. So today we're talking about positioning. You know, in life, position is everything. Position is everything, okay? You need to be in the right position. And sometimes you even have to get yourself in position to block things, too. So the position is good for attaining things. It's also good for blocking things that are in your way. So just like if you played any sports, you know how position is important. Well, I'm here to tell you that your position in life it's pretty much important too. All right. So you need to have a goal. You need to know exactly what it is you're trying to achieve. And you need to position yourself for that. And how do you position yourself? Excuse me. You position yourself by number one, knowing what your goals are. Knowing what your obstacles are. It's very important that you know your goals and you know your obstacles. Okay. Because the obstacles, you have to be able to dodge them. So you have to be in a position where you can actually dodge the obstacles, okay? So you want to be able to go towards what it is you're working towards, but you have to be able to dodge the things that get in the way, all right? And that's why we talked about the things to keep and the things to toss. Our biggest problem is sometimes we position ourselves for things, but it's the position for the wrong goal. It's the position for the wrong task. It's the position for something that we should already let go of. It's already expired and we're still trying to hold on to it and the, the lease is up. The expiration date has come and we're trying to renew it and we need to just let it go because we've outgrown it. All right. So when you position yourself, know what you have outgrown in 2017. Know what you are ready to take on. And know what you need to do to better the things that you brought from 2016. You understand what I'm saying? You do this by studying, researching, taking time out, and committing to yourself every day. 
All right. If you see me looking two ways, it's because I'm looking at Periscope and I'm looking at Facebook. But you have to position yourself in such a way, and you also have to put a commitment in. Everything comes with time and commitment to yourself. Dedicate time to yourself. Nobody else is going to do that unless you do it for yourself. Number one thing you have to do to do that is something I posted on my Facebook today, and that is to get rid of your fear. Release the fear. Write down what you're afraid of. Write down what is keeping you from achieving what you want to achieve. Write down what you have already as a skill or a talent that will allow you to achieve what you want to achieve. And then write down the resources that you have. Okay? Write down the resources that you need. Okay? So once you do that, let's go back. Write down the resources you have. Write down the resources you need. And then get in position. Do what you need to do. Position yourself a lot of time and go for it. Go for it. If you pay attention to my surroundings, then you'll know where I am. Okay? But thank you so much for caring, ladies. But pay attention. Look at my surroundings. Okay? Look at my surroundings. All right? Thank you very much. But thank you for looking out. All right. Now, I want you to... Position yourself, like right now, I'm positioned for outside. Everybody, like, telling me to stay in the house, like, you got to wrap up when you go outside. You got to be in position. Positioning is inside and out. So your outerwear needs to be correct. You need to be protected. You need to be warm. So I'm in position to go outside, and the cold can't do me no harm. All right? That's a form of positioning, guys. Everything is about positioning. All right? So I want you to look up the word. I want you to study the word position. Today's Nugget is based on positioning yourself, making sure that you are aligned for what it is that you are striving for. Then go get it. Forget about your fears. You know, find out what your real story is and what impact you want to make on people. And go after what's yours, man. Go get it, guys. Go get it. It's yours. I'm Krista Bodie Smith. I'm here to tell you keep hope alive. God bless you. I hope I said something today to make you really think. And you can find me at www.iamcrystalbodysmith.com. You can follow me at Crystal Bodie Smith on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you have questions about anything in regards to just anything that has to do with stirring you up, getting, you know, if you need some motivation, if you need some help, just contact me, inbox me, all right? God bless you. Keep hope alive.